Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all well. I'm doing very well these days, I guess. You know, it is what it is, right? <laughs> uh, no complaining because nobody wants to hear it. <laughs> but uh, I have a pretty cool thrift haul for you today. I went to, today's Friday, um, I went to some sales this morning uh, they were all like moving, like a moving sale and uh, yard sales. Tomorrow, there is an estate sale that um, I cannot wait to go to. So, uh, in the meantime, I figured, you know, since I'm not working and a lot of these sales start on Friday, I can hit them, all of them that start on Friday, on Friday, and then I don't have to do it on Saturday, you know? So, that works out really well for me. So I went to these sales today and I came home and I watched uh, Alex's uh, at Chapter 2 Vintage. She had a live sale today, so I watched that and spent more money. <laughs> you know, these sales are addicting and other people can find some amazing things that you can't. Yeah, so it, it can become very addicting indeed. So... Having my uh, peach iced tea today. <sighs> Delicious. So let me just, uh, before I get into the haul, <laughs> let me just share a little something with you guys. I had to get a new stove because uh, I had one of those flat top stoves. Let me just tell you, don't ever buy one of those stoves. They suck. The burners, they turn on, right? And they get real red and hot. And then they go out. And then they go on. And then they go out. And then they go on. And then they go out. It takes 45 minutes to boil a pot of water for pasta. That is ridiculous, okay? Okay. The worst stove I ever, ever owned. I will take a coil burner stove, electric, any day over one of those flat top stoves. They say, oh, it's so much easier. You don't have to take the burners apart and clean them. I would much rather do that, okay? But I bought a gas stove. Got it on sale on Facebook Marketplace. They were asking $200 for it. It wasn't on sale, but I mean, I got it at a good price. They were asking $200 for it. And uh, the person that was selling it lived right by my aunt. So my aunt went and looked at it for me. And I told her if it's really nice, offer her $150. So she did and she took it. So a friend of mine came the other day and ran the gas line for me because my other stove was electric. He ran the gas line for me and uh, I now have a gas stove and I, you can't beat a gas stove. You really can't uh, for cooking. I mean, it's just, you get a, a much better and even cooking with a gas stove. And now, mind you, I've never really had my own gas stove. I've always had an electric stove. The only time I've ever used a gas stove was like camping, you know, and, it, and it, if it came in like the cabin or whatever. So the drawer in the bottom, I did not know is not for storage. Okay. Like I know there was an area that you could like broil or something. So you might know where I'm getting at with this, okay? <laughs> so I had a bunch of stuff that I had put in the bottom drawer 
you know, because on most stoves, you can store things in the drawer. Well, little did I know, I was making pies yesterday, and I had the oven on 425. And I was doing some dishes at the sink, and all of a sudden, I turn around, and I see all the smoke coming out of the oven. And I'm like, what's going on? I said, I just put them in, right? And then I look in the gap between the drawer and the door and I see flames and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I open the oven and I look down and the whole inside of the drawer is on fire. I'm like, oh, and I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. I, what am I going to do? You don't, I, I was just like a lunatic. So I grabbed one of my poor strawberry towels that I had hanging on and I'm trying to hit the, the fire out. It's not going out. So I had a big measuring cup. So I filled it with water and I'm yelling for my son. He comes running out the stairs. He's like, Ma, what are you doing? I said, just help me. And I'm pouring. So I poured the water on it and got it to go out. <laughs> but... Pretty much everything that was in the bottom of the stove was burned and melted. So I had to throw it all out except for a few things that survived. <laughs> oh my God. He's looking at me, my son, he's going, what are you doing? I said, I didn't know that you couldn't put stuff in the bottom drawer. What do I know? I've never owned a gas stove in my life. He's going, oh my God, mom. So that was my excitement for the week. Yes, I almost burned my house down. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. So, anyways. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, first things first. We're doing our Slang 101. Yes, I already pulled a card out. Today's word is... Trill. Trill. Here's the definition. Genuine. Authentic. From the heart. Keep it trill. Keep it real. Trills. Trilla. Considered worthy of respect. See also props. Respect, yo fresh, cred. When it comes to salad, I keep it trill. I have no words. I have no words. My words are the English language. So... There's your lesson for today. I bet you guys just can't wait to go out and use the word trill. Have fun with that. <laughs> Alrighty. So, uh, let me start with this real quick garage sale. I only bought three items from it. I spent $6. So, yeah. I bought this really cool vintage Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer album for two bucks. Love the graphics on there. It's awesome. And it has all kinds of great songs. It has White Christmas, Jingle Bells, of course, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Deck the Halls, uh, Here Comes Santa Claus, Noel Noel, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Good King Wenselis, um, When Santa Gets Your Letter, and The Night Before Christmas. I was just looking to see if there was a date on here anywhere. But I don't see one, but it's very, very cool, and I love it. And I can't wait to play it at Christmas time. But I can wait for Christmas. <laughs> Uh, bought a couple DVDs. They were $2 each. Most people, they only charge a dollar each, but I really wanted to see these two movies. So uh, I got Wyatt Earp. And this is Kevin Costner, Dennis Quaid, and Gene Hackman. And then I got Gangs of New York with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, 
Daniel Day Lewis and Cameron Diaz. So I can't wait to watch those. I'm not a real big Western movie fan, but I do love uh, Young Guns, uh, Tombstone, The Wyatt Earp. So yeah, maybe I'll watch a uh, good old Wyatt tonight. All right, so that was what I got at the one sale. And thank God there's a Kleenex right here because, pardon me, my nose is running. Okay. Went to another uh, house sale, and what was really funny is I went to this sale last year. I remembered the lady when I saw her, and I bought the, a toaster from her, and I love this toaster. The toast is done like that. I love it. Not like my mom, who uses a toaster oven, and it takes 20 minutes for a piece of toast. By then, I'm not even hungry. So I was talking to her today. I said, I bought my toaster from you last year and I love it. She was like, oh, good. She was a really nice lady. So I got a few things from her again this year. I got this bag of coasters for 50 cents. And they're, they're like, um, I think they're a resin. So we have a dragonfly a leaf, another leaf, leaf, and a butterfly. So I figured I could resell those, one of my live sales. They're really nice. So I did buy those, and then I got a couple of really pretty creamers. I got this one. This was um, from False Craft. And I spent 50 cents on each one of these creamers. I, I spent a total of $5 at the this lady's house. But look how pretty that is. That side has that flower, which uh, I'm not quite sure what that is. And then this side has this flower. And it's like a, a stoneware. Really, really nice creamer for 50 cents. Then I got this one. I really love the, the like the red and the white or whatever you want to call it. I'm just trying to get the sticker off so I could see who makes it. And it's on there. Good. Okay, it's made by Churchill in England. And it's this really, really pretty uh, reddish, pinkish, like floral pattern. No cracks, no chips, has the little design going down the handle. Really, really pretty creamer. So I got that. I'm gonna put this over here. Ugh. This table, I love this table, but it's a little bit um, uh, more narrow than the other table, so I can't fit as much stuff. Then I got, um, for me, I got this. These are so cute. I got this little set of plastic bowls. And they come with the matching lids. How cute are those? These are perfect for leftovers. And they're in excellent condition. I got uh, the set of four with the lids for $2. Can't beat that. And then finally, she had... Some really cute Christmas pins and I thought these would be nice even um you know to to uh have in a live sale or to um maybe put in people's packages um as like a little thank you we have this little brass one with the teddy bear in the stocking we have a little winter hat and they have the that's the kind of back they have they're like little stick pins we have the little uh, stocking. We have the holly berries. This one, I, I think I'm going to keep this one. This one is adorable. Look at this one. <laughs> I just love that one. <laughs> These were a quarter a piece. And then we have a little candy cane. <laughs> So that's what I got from 
the toaster lady's house. That's what I'll call her now, the toaster lady's house. Five bucks. So then I went to this other lady's house, and she is moving to Florida. And I said, oh, I wish I was. And um, so she had a lot of stuff for sale. The first thing I saw, she had all these uh, spoons and stuff. I think they were like 10 cents each or something. But I got this one because look at those starbursts on there. How cool are they? And it's just a metal slotted spoon. Then I saw this awesome vintage Christmas piece with the plastic flowers. You gotta love it. I love vintage plastic Christmas um, florals. They just are so pretty and they look so real. So I got that. She had some uh, Corel Spring Daisy uh, saucers. There was uh, three of them. So I got those for one of my live sales. I know a lot of people are looking for these for replacements or whatever or to complete a set. Then the find of the day is this real piece of jadeite. It is Fire King. I almost, my eyeballs almost came flying out of their sockets. <laughs> I'm looking on the table of the plates and I'm like, oh, it can't be. And I pulled it out and turned it over and I said, it is. Yes. I'm so excited. So for all of these things here, I spent... 65 cents, 65 cents, so, yeah, I gave her a dollar, I said, that's okay, I don't need to change, 65 cents, wow, okay, now, um, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next, I think what I'm going to do is I did go to uh, Goodwill yesterday and I bought some stuff there and I I can't believe the amount of money that I spend at Goodwill. I just want to slap myself because you see what you could get at these yard sales for, for uh, pennies. And then I go to Goodwill and spend like $40, $50. And I do. I just want to like slap myself. Like what is wrong with me? But I just, sometimes I can't help it. And I, I buy the stuff with the intentions that I'm going to make money on it. And it's going to pay for whatever I bought and then some. So I buy it. So let me do that stuff first and then we'll get back into the other um, items. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. I can move this over here, that over there, put this over here, this, because this is part of today. Okay, so now I can get at, pardon, pardon the side of my head there. Okay. So I spent, I, I don't know, I think it was like $40 and some change. I don't have my receipt handy, but I got, uh, what the, the color of the tag was still blue this week. So I got this adorable little owl cup and I know owl, blah, blah, owls are quite popular these days and he has no ch chips or cracks. He was only 89 cents. So I got him. He'll be for resale. I bought this glass for myself because I already have some glasses exactly like this. Um, and the reason I bought these in the first place was because we had glasses like this when I was little. And I, as soon as I saw them, the memories just came flooding in. So this is the funny thing. 
I got it for 89 cents, but I was talking to the girl that's the manager at the Goodwill. And when I first picked this glass up and looked at it, it had a price tag of $3.49 for one glass, right? So I said to her, I go, let me ask you something. I said, do this, does everybody that works in the back, do they all know what things are supposed to be marked at? And she says, well, yeah. And, I, and she said, why? And I said, well, here, I'll show you. So I brought her this glass and I showed her. I said, $3.49 for one glass? She's like, oh, no, no. She goes, I try to explain to them. And she rips the sticker off and she puts the 89 cent sticker on for me. It's just, there's no um, consistency in there. You'll find some things marked for 89 cents like this mug. And then there'll be another mug just like it that's marked $3.49. Like, let's all get on the same page. Like, seriously, it's not that difficult. I don't know. Okay, end of rant. Then I got this little guy for 89 cents. I want to take the sticker off because see who makes them. It is Bistro Blanc. And he is the cutest little thing ever, 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 <laughs> ever. He will be in my one of my live sales. He is a little personal elephant creamer. <laughs> Tell me he is not adorable. Oh my goodness. For 89 cents, I could not pass him up. Too cute. Then I purchased these. These will be in a live sale as well. Um, I have to be careful because they still have their contents in them. But they are these acorn salt and pepper shakers. Uh, at least they weren't marked $3.49 each. They were $3.49 for the two pieces, which is the way they should be marked. And they have their stoppers and they're in good shape. No cracks, no chips. They had these watering bottles for a dog for a dog cage. $3.49 each. There were four of them. I looked them up online and they sell for at least $12 a piece. So I grabbed all four and I'm gonna list them and see what happens. If they don't sell, I'm gonna be mighty mad. <laughs> But, you know, if, if they don't sell, I could always donate them to the uh, ASPCA. You know what I mean? But, yeah. So, I got four of those. Then I saw this brand new uh, personal teapot still in the box. I'm not going to take it out, but you can see what it looks like on here. It's really, really pretty. And actually, I think this was the only half price item I got. It was $5.49, so I got it for half price, $2.75. And uh, this will also be in a live sale at some point. Now, I got these, and I got them because I thought that I would keep them and hang them in my kitchen. But I'm not positive. But anyways, they're all in excellent shape. No cracks, no chips. And it's a set of four. I got all four for $5.49. So there's one like this. One like that. I really like that one. One like this. And one like this. So, I mean, I thought $5.49 for all four, that wasn't too bad, so I grabbed them. And, of course, I forgot my black light, so pardon me for a second. All right, <laughs> I am back. I found a piece of green depression glass, and I never remember to bring my black light with me. But it is this really pretty cake plate. And, yep, it's glowing. It's glowing away. 
and it has a real pretty pattern. <laughs> That's the pattern. Very pretty. And it has the little feet on the bottom. I, I am assuming it is a cake plate. Um, no cracks, no chips. Perfect condition. I just love uranium glass. Yes, I do. <laughs> so, that was my Goodwill haul. Not too bad, but still way too much money. Forty dollars. All right, I'm just making some room here, guys, so pardon me. All right, so the last, the last sale that I went to, well, actually, it was the first sale, but it's the last one I'm going to show you. Uh, it was at, uh, out in front of uh, the Army base here, and um, they had a bunch of different, people set up and everybody brought their stuff and kind of like a little flea market. So, um, I bought, well, Sophie's sleeping on top of one of the boxes that I have to get into, but, uh, <laughs> we'll get in there. Um, so I'm trying to, let me show you this stuff first. This one lady had just a little tiny, like a card table. And these are the items that I purchased from her. So in all total, from everybody I bought from, I spent $53. I got this gorgeous blue ashtray. No cracks, no chips. It's got a beautiful pattern. Look at that. So beautiful for an ashtray, like it's gorgeous. So I bought that. Then I got this awesome piece of uh, melamine. I love these bowls. I already have two, uh, just like this, except there is no separator in the other two that I have, and they're orange. Uh, but I thought this would be nice too, so I grabbed that. Um, then I saw these and I said, I better get them for Jessica's shower because as I said, we're looking for like platters and stuff and these matched each other. They were $2 a piece. Let me take the sticker off. So I got this round one and this is, um, 22 karat gold Royal China. So I got the round one and I got this pretty oval one. So that will be really nice on the table. All right, so there we go. Then I got from the same lady for a dollar. Would you look at this little guy? Oh my word, how cute is he? <laughs> Little rosy cheeks. There is nothing written on the bottom, no marks. I have no idea who makes him. I mean, he could be Shawnee. Um, what's the other one that I never can think of? I don't know, but I just know he is just very, very cute. And then I got this for $2 at the same ladies. This beautiful, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It, it kind of matches that bottle that I got uh, from my mom. That was my grandma's, the decanter. So I may keep this to go with that. I'm not sure yet. I'm really not sure, but that is a gorgeous piece. I love cobalt blue. It's just so rich looking. Like, it's such a gorgeous color. It really is. So I got that. And then she had this box of shot glasses for $5 for the whole box. And I'll just show you real quick 
Uh, there's nine glasses in here. So let me show you these two pink depression glass ones. Then there was this one from Florida. Then there's these that have the colored bottoms. One's pink and one is like a yellow orange color. These have, these are Anchor Hocking or Libby. No, these are federal. These are federal glass. Just the two plain ones. Are these, yeah, these are federal as well. The ones with the colored bottoms. And then I got one like this with the thumbprint sort of pattern and it has a little bit of gold going around the top. And this one. So I got the whole box for $5. And that was what I got at the first table that I walked up to at the sale. Sophie, honey, <laughs> you gotta move, baby. Come on, you gotta move. You gotta get up. I'm sorry. Pardon me, guys. She's looking at me like, are you serious right now? All right. Actually, the two platters, um, I did not get from the first table. The two platters I got along with this box at a different table. Wait till you see what I got in this box. Oh my God. Look at this gorgeous lusterware tea set. This is gorgeous. It's that real pretty, like a sage green. Oh my God. So that's the teapot. Now some of the saucers, look at this cup. Just beautiful. Some of the coasters, there's a couple coasters that have a little bit of wear. Okay. They are just beautiful, you guys. So those are the saucers. And as I said, some of them have some wear, you know, from putting the teacup up and down on it, of course, and sliding it. Uh, then this is, this is the creamer. Absolutely beautiful. No cracks, no chips. And this is the sugar bowl. Just stunning. I mean, absolutely amazing. So it is the teapot, the creamer, the sugar, and there are one, two, one, two, three cups. I thought there was more cups than that, but three cups and one, two, three, four, five saucers. So I don't know what happened to the other cups. They must have got broken. But she only charged me $8 for this set which I thought was amazing. As soon as she said $8, I said, sold. So you can take it up to the front. I'll pay for it when I'm done shopping. Yep. So that'll be, again, for one of my live sales. Beautiful. I just don't want the cat to lay on here again and break something. Um. All right, so that was amazing. Okay, now, there was a guy 
that had strictly antiques, okay? Uh, you saw in the video the stuff that was available at this little flea market. But I gravitated, as soon as I left the first lady's little card table, I gravitated right over to where all his stuff was. So he had a box full of stuff and I only saw a couple things in it. I was starting to dig and then I saw a tag that said $20 whole box. So I just grabbed the whole box because I you know, liked what I had seen so far. Uh, and brought it up there, and I have not gone through it yet. So I will be going through it with you to see what's inside. But let me show you, I got this amazing tin. <laughs> Five cents. Yeah, this is very, very cool. I got a couple books. Um, I'm thinking my daughter will want this one because this one is from, it has the name Martin in it. Somebody's, whoever owned the book's name was Martin. And the date is 1871 through 1885. So I'm assuming this one is 1885. My daughter will love this book. And it is um, Brief History of the United States. And I had to get this one. <laughs> this is active and alert. <laughs> Kids are active, but they're definitely not alert. That's for sure. This one is um, Elaine J. Deventier, Lockport Road, Niagara Falls, New York. And this book is copyright. Nineteen forty six. <laughs> Let's see what else we have in here. Because I didn't look through it. Oh my. Look at these pictures. Oh, this is a cool book. I have to keep this book for myself. Yeah, this is awesome. Just the graphics on the cover alone are awesome. <laughs> Then I grabbed this little box because I thought, you know, my daughter might like it. She could hang it on the wall and put little knickknacks in there. But it's actually just a little, little caddy. Ooh, what the heck was that? Okay, as long as it's not a spider. <laughs> yeah, so I got that. Then I saw this box. It said a dollar on it, right? And it had this lamp, but I'm like, nah, it's not a lamp. So in it was this Avon decanter bowling pin. It had a wild country aftershave in it. But that's not oh i have a broken one we have a mishap in here these are from japan and they're made by thames hand painted yeah these i didn't realize how bad these were damaged but i will glue it this guy, half of his head got blown off. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's probably why it was a dollar. But anyway, I got this one. We'll glue him up and fix him up. And then this one's broken, but we can, I don't know. This one is missing the top of his head as well, and I don't know where it is. 
This one is intact. Just has a little chip there. And the salt and pepper shakers, his tail came off. I just have it sitting there, but then he's missing his um, top of his head. These are the salt and pepper shakers, if I didn't already say that. Oh, and look, there's looks like a jadeite marble was in there. So, yeah, we'll do some repairs on these guys. I really didn't look, look, you know, I saw a dollar and I'm like, eh, and I took it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Uh-oh. I got a tickle. All right. So now, I saw these. Now, these are... Americana salt and pepper shakers. I just thought they were awesome. And these I will be keeping. They're going to go in my kitchen. It has the red and the white theme that I like. So it'll go with my stuff over on my baker's rack there. So I got those for me. Then in this box, and this has no cracks or chips anywhere, is this gorgeous basket. And this is McCoy. Gorgeous. This I will probably list on eBay. Um, I have to look it up. But um, I'm sure I could get a decent price on eBay for it. So that's probably what I'm going to do. <laughs> Look at that graphic. Love it. Boy and girl. Let me see. What do we this? does not have shoes in it. At first, I thought it was a little pair of shoes, but they are salt and pepper shakers that are in here. Um, so we have, let me show you. These are adorable. These, um, I'm assuming, are Japan. They have the cork bottoms. But we have these, salt and pepper. How Look at those little faces. <laughs> and then we have the matching mustard pot. And it has the little spoon. Where are you? It fell in. There's the little spoon in there. And how do I know it's a mustard pot? Because it's got an M on there. <laughs> so then I don't have to wonder. So I got that cute little set. That, that'll be for resale. I just thought that was the cutest thing. But I love this box. This box is just amazing. This thing was in here. I told him I didn't want it, but he stuck it in here anyway, which is one of those. Though I already have one of these things hanging. Yeah. So that'll just be redonated. All right, so let's see what we have in here. We have this vintage Coca Cola mug. This is pretty cool. I'm going to have to look this up. It is uh, ceramic, it's not milk glass. I don't see any markings on the bottom at all. So I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about Coca-Cola stuff, so, yeah. All right, so let me see. We have a bunch of different stuff in here. I don't know what's what, so I got to pull it out very carefully, so bear with me, guys. Hang on a second. <laughs> yeah, there's 
lots of weird stuff in here. Hold on. I wasn't didn't feel like looking through the whole box, so I just uh I just pulled the pulled the stuff and or grabbed the box and Okay, well, we have a flower frog. So that's cool. Then we have <laughs> this mushroom salt shaker. How cool is this? From Japan. I hope the other one is in here. I haven't gotten that far yet. Then we have this pair of these are from Nippon, white salt and pepper shakers. Then we have um, Lusterware one. Hopefully the other one is in there. We have this very cool mushroom. I have no idea. It's pretty cool looking though. We have these two little cuties. They're they're made out of really hard rubber. <laughs> I don't know. Their eyes are pretty wide. Who makes these? Um, 1985? Campbell Soup. These are the Campbell Soup Kids. I knew they looked familiar. <laughs> All right, let me see what else we got. Oh, here's the other here. Okay, so we have the set. We have the set. So that's good. I have another flower frog. So with a uh, dead moth in there. <laughs> Those will be for sale. Then I have this really cute, these are made by Sawcraft. Saw, hold on. Sawcart. Sawcart. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. My son's coming in from work. And then, so it's the set of three. Hello. Hello. Uh, let's see what else we got here, guys. Uh, everything is like it's. <laughs> they put all of it in a um a wash basin that you would get at a hospital, you know, the plastic ones. And everything is inside here, all wrapped up. So let me pause the video. I will unwrap everything and then show you guys. Okay, so I got everything unwrapped. Um, I was almost having a heart attack because I think this could possibly be a whole towered but unfortunately, the other one was not in there. And it's this one. I don't know. Um, there was a sticker on the bottom, but that's all that's left of it. But I only have the one. Don't have the other mushroom that goes to this, but this could be used for decor. Got these real pretty shakers with the luster wear, like mother of pearl color. Look at these, look how pretty these are. Little birds with the flowers. These are, Hammersley Bone China, made in England. So there's these two and these two. Then there's this awesome set. 
the birds come right off. They have cork stoppers. This one's missing its stopper. That is beautiful. Then we have uh, corn on the cobs. This one has a chip right there, but that could be touched up. And they have cork stoppers as well. These are beautiful. Uh, these are made in Japan and there's no cracks or chips. Those are gorgeous. We have these two little guys, little penguins, cork stoppers. Those are really cute. Then we got some uh I don't know if these are corning, but these are the spice of life salt and pepper shakers. They're in good shape. Then we have this cute little guy. He's made in Japan, but he's missing the other one that goes here. But uh, the salt shaker, this one's the pepper, but that's okay because I could just use him as a decor piece. I could put a bottle brush tree on here or uh, I, I could make a little bag of toys. So he's a little cutie, I'm keeping him. Then this was in there with none of the matching pieces. This is uh, made in Japan and it had, it would have had the mustard pot and the salt and the pepper shakers. So, you know. And then I got two glasses, which uh, these were from Arby's back in the 70s, I believe. Um, Oh, sorry, 1981, 1981. And this one is the Muppets. And this one is from 1981. And this was from McDonald's. So I got all of that stuff that I showed you for 20, well, actually it cost me $30 for the whole box of all of the stuff. So um, I didn't think that was bad at all. And I did get quite a few things for resale. I'm going to be reselling all of these salt and pepper shakers, except for the little Santa. Uh, oh, here's the other Muppet one. There was two Muppet ones. I'm sorry, I forgot to show you. This one's a cute one. I love this one. You got Kermit, you got Fozzie Bear, you got Animal. Yeah. So it, I'll sell, you know, the set of those. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I did good today. I was very excited about everything that I found today. So, um, as I said, most of this stuff will be in upcoming live sales. And I just wanted to say, um, I am having another live sale. Tomorrow, Saturday, August 1st already, you guys. August 1st, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, I got a lot. I got about 50, between 50 and 55 items. And um, I think Jessica has some stuff too. So uh, make sure you guys uh, stay tuned for that. Again, it's at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time tomorrow, August 1st. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this awesome haul video and the little shop along at the beginning. So uh, until tomorrow, take care, guys. See you later. Bye. Hi, guys. <laughs> you know, I had to forget. 
at least one thing, as I always do. And this was one of the best things. This is a keeper though, so don't get excited, guys. Look at this beautiful blue fairy lamp. Isn't it beautiful? I'm probably gonna keep it, not sure. I don't know who makes it because I didn't check before I put the candle in it and lit it. But um, I only paid 50 cents for it. I had to jump back on and share it with you guys because this is awesome. 